Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I'm out here in the forest in Austria and as you can see it has snowed and it's really cold so my hands are freezing, it's really cold and I thought, hmm, that's actually perfect conditions to train my survival skills and today I want to train the bow drill again which I believe is maybe the most difficult uh, survival skill to learn so in the past I was always taking either poplar like this one here or I was taking this one which is um, willow and poplar and willow they are both very soft woods and they are perfect for the bow drill so if I was to make a bow drill today I would cut off or break off this branch here which is dead and standing and it seems to be very dry and it would make a perfect bow drill kit but you know I've always taken the best woods for the bow drill and what if you cannot find these kind of woods in the forest what if you are stuck in a pine forest like this one here so here in this forest you can only see pine trees and today I want to attempt making a bow drill fire with the pine tree and I want to find out if it's possible or not now I'm in the search of a dead pine tree and I'm seeing a lot of dead trees on the floor but actually you do not want to take them because they are soaking wet and it's almost impossible to make a bow drill fire with this wet kind of wood here that you see on the floor so what I'm searching for is a dead tree that is still standing okay so I have found a dead tree that's the tree that Amy is standing by and you can tell by taking off the bark and you can see that the cambium layer which is usually green has died okay so this is how you can spot a dead tree even if the bark is still on so this one is dead so this was the bottom part of the tree and I usually do not use it because the nearer you come to the ground or to the floor uh, the more moisture will be in the first um, inches of the log so usually I take my path a little bit from above the tree and yeah this will be my fireboard and now I will try to make a square rectangle out of this small lock here Amy what's up what are you doing huh? <laughs> oh yes good girl yeah yeah yes you're stealing the show again <laughs> are you cold or something I don't know. are you afraid or what what is it <laughs> come on can you leave please? I'm filming here, okay? So now I take my knife. Uh, most of you guys uh, know this already. It's my self-designed survival knife. And Amy is blocking my workspace again. So there's nothing here. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. So, and now I will put on, or I will try to put on a square rectangle. because it's much faster than carving it's maybe not the most beautiful solution but it will still work this seems like a good piece to me and now I'm going to carve the spindle getting dark really fast Whew. I have to speed up the bow drill making process a little bit here 
otherwise I won't find my way home anymore. So when I'm making the boat trail and make it a little bit more pointed at, at this end here, this is where the bearing block is going to go. So either it's the hole in my knife or a skateboard wheel. You can also use some wood for the bearing block, but wood is really one of the worst materials that you can use for the bearing block because it has too much friction and then you won't have the power anymore to bring the dust to a temperature where it starts glowing. So if I can, I always use either the hole in my knife or maybe a stone. All right, so the spindle is coming along and it should be round. So make sure it's really not oval because then you will have a problem that the spindle will make a you know strange movement inside of the hole and then it will constantly kick out the sawdust so you have to make it round but you don't have to make it smooth uh, because if it's really smooth then the cordage cannot really grip the spindle so it's better if you leave it very coarse. So here you can see I have made a point at the thicker end and also one at the thinner end. The floor is really moist, so you have to take something that you put underneath your actual uh, bow drill kit. And today I'm going to use this uh, roller blade wheel and this is going to make the drill easier. So with this wheel I can simulate the strength of a man. Okay, so now it's time to drill. And first I want to drill the first uh, hole. So finally we got some smoke. Oh my god. Okay, this is a notch. It should work like that. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, it's getting too dark. I have to get outside of this woods. Okay, so I'm back in the woods. Um, yesterday it got really dark, so I had to get out of the forest. And I brought the same kit as yesterday. And I just left it in my car overnight. So I wanted to make sure that it cannot dry out because if you bring it home it will dry out and then the experiment will not be like viable and I noticed that it's really hard to use the pine on pine and that's because it's very hard and it takes much more pressure to get the smoke as opposed to other woods which are you know not as hard as this pine so, so for this uh, bow drill set, you need to press down much more. Oh yeah, and this here is the notch. And I noticed that a lot of the dust could not get out, so I'm going to carve it bigger today. So now this is the notch that I have. It looks a little bit square. Let's see if it works. So for um, underneath the board. I just um, ripped off this bark here from a tree and it's really dry and it should work as an insulation from the cold ground. It did 
not work. Look at this. So finally, the spindle um, always gets this point, and then it's getting really hard to drill. So now, let's take a look at the dust. And here you can see that the dust is not black enough, so it's more brownish, which means I should have used even more pressure. And I'm not sure why the spindle is doing that, uh, making the snows, but it's certainly not good because then you cannot really press down anymore, so it's not a good thing. So even though I was using this wheel, I could not generate enough of pressure to get um, to get an amber. Okay, so now I want to try a different kind of bow drill set. This is um, Aspen or Poplar. And I made this a couple of days ago. And now I want to show you how easy it is to make a bow drill fire with this kind of wood. worked. Now I can even add the dust from the pine board. And this way the amber will get bigger. Now we will let it sit for a couple of minutes so that the amber is getting more dense and less fragile. We have fire. So, as you just saw, the choice of wood really makes a difference. And honestly, if I would be stuck in a pine forest, I could not make a bow drill fire. Yeah? And even with the skateboard wheel, I could not even do the bow drill fire with the pine set. So for me personally, the pine is not really my favorite wood for the bow drill. And I don't think that I could make a fire with this in a real survival situation. Maybe I could do it with two persons. So maybe you just need more like strength and then it would be possible. But alone, I certainly could not do this. Okay, so this is the survival lesson for today. Pine is not very good for the bow drill and I would rather stay away from it.